Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, and we have a very big problem that needs to be discussed with Digimon Super Rumble. I have done the math, I have done the calculations, and yeah. I recently got a 100% cash increase item, which you pay for with real money, by the way. Real money, real world money to buy the crowns to purchase this item. I also have a 20% increased drop chance item, which again is also a cash shop item. Spent real money to be real money, and I am still struggling in Digimon Super Rumble. Right, so here is the data just to prove it to you. So. Mutants are not included due to 5% chance to obtain, require cash shop, are really lucky RNG. If you don't have any ultimate items left to make a mutant champion team, most players will use ultimates if a newer player. Meaning that they will only get in 40 fights before their EVP runs out. So, I was trying to grind for crafting materials today, because I decided it's time for me to level my crafting, I need to do a guide on my crafting, right? So I'm fine. Dark Tower and I'm on at level 60 because they drop the items that I need to get from 95 to higher in terms of the crafting level. Level 60 Dark Tower and I'm on within 5 levels. So I'm getting the maximum amount of bits and drop chance. Full EVP to 0 using Ultimate Digimon which is 50 EVP cost per fight means 40 fights. Trip 1. My starting amount of bits was 218,223. Bits after my EVP ran out was 283,570 with 100% boosted cash increase. So bear in mind, this is with 100% boosted cash. Every bit of bit I earned was boosted by 100%. The highest amount you can get from the cash shop. Money earned from full EVP was only 65,347. If I was to restore with food, I would have spent more money on food for restoring stuff. So the trick on this game is that I only just found out recently after months of playing this game. Did you evolve up and down and use EVP chips instead of food? So, considering all three of my Digimon need to be within this Digimon's level to basically guarantee the highest drop chance to officially grab the crafting items... The amount spent for full EVP would have come to 135,000 bits. The reason being, each chip is 10%, 4,500 bits to buy. So that means I would need 10 of them to go to 100%, which is 45k. Free individual Digimon is 135,000 bits to get back to full EVP. EVP chips, which are cheaper than using even the cheapest food and SP restore items. Food costs not included. I got the food for free from the chest so didn't purchase them. Would have earned less digivolving up and down and got less than 40 fights. And spent more money if I had used food so even the cheapest possible method was still a major net loss of bits earned. Trip number 2. Starting bits was, like I said, 283,570 because this is just after the first trip. So I'm recording the data right. Full EVP to zero ending bits was 352,862 bits. That's with the 100% increased cash. Most players will not have this. I generally would not have this because I don't like to spend money on the cash shop. But I decided to test it out. Amount earned 69,292 bits. Amount spent for full EVP 135,000 free full Digimon to EVP whilst in the 5 level limit. Sellable items that I got from these two trips were 6,000 bits HDD drives and I got 12 of them, which earned me 72,000 bits. That's both the trips combined, I got 12 of them, so that's 72k. So the amount total spent on EVP chips, 270,000 bits. Bits earned back, 206,639. Total loss. 63,361. I have lost 63k bits, and that's with a 100% boosted cash item. The whole entire time. Without 100% cash boost and 20% drop increase, total loss becomes 126,000. Plus. That means more than that much. 
Impossible to calculate because RNG drop items, but let's say we got the same amount of drops in this instance, is still on over 126,000 bits loss. Because you have to consider that if I did not have this cash boost, the amount I would have lost here would have been doubled. I can't calculate for the 20% increased drop rate of getting the USBs. So I can't really put that into proper calculation. So we just double the amount of bits here. That's 126,000 plus in terms of the amount of bits I have lost already with 100% cash increase. This is with a cash shop item that boosts bits earned by 100% and an item that increases drop chance by 20% active and unacceptable. If I'm paying real world money to purchase these items to give me a boost and I'm still losing money, we have a fucking problem. Level 87, back them on within 5 levels. So this is the high end here. I'm going to higher level mobs here. Level 90 ultimates were used. Reason? I was fighting the Bakamon. Easier to kill and squishy. Doesn't require late game build with amazing stats. So faster and saves time. Plus it's a high level mob. Which means higher level bits. This is pretty much near a max level mob which is 90. Full EVP to 0 using ultimate Digimon. 50 EVP for a fight equals 40 fights. Mega is too expensive EVP cost wise and you definitely be screwed trying to regain money if you use them due to not being rewarded enough money for fights as it is. Boost. 100% cash, 20% drop rate, and first trip had a bonus 5% drop rate from a random drop boost I got while playing. So I got a little bit extra here, and we're still going to lose money. Trip 1. Free food was used instead of EVP up and down to guarantee full 40 fights. You would get in less fights if I was EVP and up and down. The food I got for free from chess. So I don't count this cost. And that means basically my restore was completely for free. Me restoring my Digimon was completely for free. No EVP cost. No food cost. Completely free. So I've not spent anything. I've got the full 40 fights in here ladies and gentlemen. The full 40. If I had used food I would have definitely lost money. I've covered this before. I've shown the amount of money you earn for a fight without 100% um, increased money. And you'd spend more buying the cheapest food item, which heals the same amount as a higher food item for less bits. Just a point of perspective. My starting bits this time was 375,971. Bits after the EVP ran out was 498,376. Bear in mind, this is one of the highest, highest level mobs. And I was in the 5 level limit. And high level mobs drop more bits. Total earned 122,405 bits. Drops I got were free 10k USBs. Which equals 30k. If we pretend I don't have the 100% cash boost. I earn 50% of those bits. Which means I only earned 61,202 bits. Let's add the free 10k USB items. That's 91,202 bits. Full EVP chip cost for full EVP equals 135k for all three Digimon to go from 0 to 100%. Net loss, 43,798. That is with all fights included, none lost to use an EVP to Digivolve up and down. I didn't spend a single bit on restorative items, so this is all money for me without costing me a penny, except I have to restore EVP. Which equals me sitting at Chumon for 30 minutes or sitting at a tree for longer. Which means I am not playing the game. A big problem with the game considering most players are sat there at Chumon trying to get Bond or EVP. And the game looks dead as hell. Because they have no choice but to sit with this horrible EVP system. But you would have to do this if you wanted to just earn a profit. If I wanted to guarantee earning a profit I have to sit at the Chumon. Or I lose money. With a cash shop item that doubles my money earned. I'm still losing money if I don't go and sit at the Chumon for half an hour. Some players have limited time due to working a job and have a family etc etc. I am using a 100% cash boost item and gaining 20% drop chance for the 10k USBs. So, 122,405 plus 30k USBs plus 2 Bakamon Broken Digicore which I, which I also got. They're 2k each when selling to the shop. My total earned with 100% increase and all the drops I got was 156,405 bits. 
DVP chips cost 135,000 bits. Total actual profit with a cash shop item, 21,405 bits. Against a level 87 mob. And yes, they dropped rift items, but I ignored the rift items due to being incredibly low chance and you're lucky if you get one in that full EVP bar. But let's say you got one of them, could be closer to 50 to 70k bits, but you'd need a cash shop item still just to actually gain a profit at all. This is a fucking problem. And a player has been arguing with me about this fact, saying oh, everything's fine, you can just go to school Greymon. One. Most players do not know about the EVP trick to save money and will be buying food because this is not explained to them. Unless somebody tells you this, you will not know this knowledge. And if something is not common knowledge to every player, you cannot use this as an excuse. Two, now everybody has a good enough team to sit there at school Greymon all day. Three, you still need to use cash shop items to gain a profit. Four, you need the time to be able to sit there at Tumon to make a profit. This does not fix the issue. It makes the issue worse. Because I shouldn't be spending my real world money just to be able to actually play your freaking game. Nor should I be spending my real world money and still be losing bits every fight I flipping have in the game. Unless I have an end game team and I'm fighting Skull Greymon constantly. That is a problem with the game that needs fixing. The only way the game devs are going to fix this is either by increasing the amount of bits we earn per fight, and it needs to be a lot if I'm using 100% and I'm still in the loss, or add an aura item that DMO had that would combat this problem completely. But the game devs haven't added one. I'm trying to bring attention to this because this needs fixing. I should not be having this issue Late game and with a cash shop item. You are taking the piss. That is insulting to players playing your game. And it's screwing all of us over. This needs fixing now. I would appreciate it guys. If you would actually go into the game's official discord. Please go into digimonsuperrumble.com. You need a VPN to access it now by the way. We'll get into that in another video. Uh, stupid reason. I don't know why. But they did that. Anyway, if you can get onto their website, go into the community section and go to the game's official Discord. Please go to the suggestion and upvote what I have posted inside of the suggestion section. Right here. Because I have posted this to try and let the game devs know about the issue of the game. We need either an aura item to come by or the game devs need to fix the game's bit system. Because... This is a problem. I posted all this information so they have the data. And the player was still arguing about it. I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to scroll up and reveal the name. Because obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not a dick. I don't want people harassing them. But what I will say is... They were arguing with me about it. And trying to be like, oh, well, you can just go to school. Oh, were you, were you leveling effectively? Are you using this? Are you using that? Like... Uh, uh, but we had an event recently. Events don't count because events don't matter. Events are limited time things that aren't available to players all the time. If you need an event to fix your game's major flaw, that is not a solution. A player should be able to play your game normally without an event to fix that. But regardless, if somebody could go to the suggestion section and please upvote what I've posted in chat to fix the bit system, add an aura item or something... Please upvote this so the game devs take a look. We need to fix this for Digimon Super Rumble going forward. Because this is a problem. If I'm using a cash shop item, I still can't fucking gain a profit. And I'm constantly losing money. Unless I go to one specific spot in the game. Which not every player can do. Not every player knows about the EVP trick and will be using food. So it doesn't fix the problem. It needs to be fixed. And it's a major issue. Thank you very much guys for listening. I apologise for the rant and the angry voice. But I am getting absolutely fed up at this point. It's a complete kick in the face to us who love this game and want to see it succeed. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.